a very unique property in Diamonddale that has been empty for more than a decade may have new life. In part two of my Mystery Mansions of Diamonddale series, the River House, or Munster Mansion as some locals call it, was recently purchased and the new owner has big plans to renovate this relic on the river. This Munster Mansion has been vacant for years in Diamonddale. The owner, while working on construction of the famed Highway House down the block, died, leaving both houses empty. Vandals and nature have stripped this home bare, thought unsavable for years, until now. Matt Jankowiak. Say hello to the rescuer of this relic. Matt has high hopes for this once majestic mansion. You can tell it used to be a fancy house yeah. back in the day. Um, but it's definitely seen the test of time, unfortunately, yeah. take its toll, and as well as looters all going through it and picking everything good out of it. He knows he has a lot of work ahead of him, transforming this once over-the-top home into a new business. You know, I'm trying to start a business out of it to start a canoe livery, because I've worked at a canoe livery um, right. for many years, and it's just the perfect location for it, and we want to put you know, fishing docks out on the river, um, boat docks, maybe even some boat slips, like for people to rent out for the entire season or something okay. if they want to, like if they want to just leave their power boat in the water. Um, definitely like a bait shop too type of thing. So we'll sell worms and all of that stuff okay. and sell coffee, chips, stuff like that. And have a few grills, almost turn it into like a mini park. Giving new life to a local mystery prompted swift reaction from family and friends. Uh, some of my friends think I'm a little nuts. I think my grandma's a little worried, <laughs> but excited too. Unaware until recently the connection between this Munster mansion and the highway house down the block, Matt has hopes of honoring as much as he can the past while looking forward to the future. Yeah, I think it'll be nice to see both places like in their full glory again, you know, and uh, hopefully living up to the, the builder's legacy, and it'll be nice to see them both looking good again. And I think the community will like that too. Kirk so. Montgomery, News 10. Now I'm planning to keep on this story and I'll bring you updates on both the Munster Mansion and the Highway House as both projects move forward.